Congratulations. Hopefully. He might need the wipers on that car if he's driving today. Is that right? I mean, it came down it did. big time. Yeah. In about 35, 40 minutes, we had just under an inch of rain. Wow. That's, that's tropical type. You know, yeah. Rain, rainfall. Right. Okay, it's not raining downtown right now, but whether you have something going on at your house, kids have practice, the Indians have a ball game, we all have to dodge isolated, and I stress isolated thunderstorms because they're not widespread, but where they pop up, heavy rainfall likely. Watch what happens. This is just after 4 o'clock, just the last hour. You can see the rain flares up. It rains itself out. So in other words, once the thunderstorms reach maturity and the heavy rain is falling, it's also collapsing on itself. Still some areas north of Interstate 70 in Hancock County to the northwest of Greenfield, an area of rain actually moving back to the west, which is a little abnormal. We're used to everything moving kind of west to east, but these are drifting a little bit is really the way to look at it because the winds, the upper level winds are so weak, there's nothing to push these along. They just kind of sit and spot and rain heavily. As far as what we got, slow moving thunderstorms, but isolated heavy rainfall and by heavy half an inch to an inch in an hour's period of time. 74 with some puddles still evident downtown 16th and Meridian would be one of those spots. I'm sure along Fall Creek perhaps some flooding too. 81 in Lafayette. When you get outside of the rain area and it's pretty easy to find where that strip of rain has been. Temperatures in the 70s under the rain area and in the 80s and very sticky elsewhere where you have not had rain. 82 in Fishers, 83 in Westfield. Okay, tonight. Rain showers end, cooler temperatures to the north and east in the 50s to start the morning. 61 in Indy, then during the day tomorrow, three reasons you'll love it. It won't be as humid. We'll have tons of sunshine and we'll have comfortable temperatures. I think that was three. Bedford and Seymour, mid 80s for afternoon highs, not quite as warm in Indy. Just as much sunshine, though, 83 degrees, the Friday afternoon high. What happens as we go into the weekend, we hold on to the sunshine Saturday. A little more humidity is back on Sunday. Temperatures more July-like than the end of May. Should be in the mid-80s. And if you break down Saturday, temperatures start in the low 60s. Mostly sunny through the day. 84 will be the afternoon temperature. So our forecast, that less humid start tomorrow. Temperatures during the afternoon hours in the low 80s. Friday, we build momentum for the weekend. Temperatures 84 Saturday, Sunday at 85. Next week, a daily chance for showers and thunderstorms. Does that sound familiar? Mm -hmm. It does. Humid. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Uh -huh. And uh, temperatures in the 80s. Our pattern continues, but enjoy the break. Tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday will be a nice three-day stretch before it becomes a little more uncomfortable again next week. All right. We like it, Kevin. Thank you.